Uh, we're trying not to sell any more bulk links. Obviously, everybody likes to make money, but um, you know, in this case, it's basically integrated into tactical arbitrage. So um, the super easy way to do it, um, using the new easy bulk feature, as you can see right here, and I'm going to take you through it uh, just real quick. Um, basically, all uh, you have to do, you don't have to buy lists, download lists, upload them, you know, select five, you know, your 500 lines, that's the limit. Um, so it's all pretty much integrated now. Uh, so all we have to do here is select, uh, let me stop this search. So all we have to do is select what website we want. So I'm just going to pick Kohl's, but almost all the supported sites work now. Uh, and then uh, all you have to do is turn on the Easy Bulk feature, uh, and we're going to select what categories we want. So all the categories on Kohl's are in here, all the top-level categories. Uh, and then once we select something, let's just say Toys, uh, then all the subcategories under that are going to show up. Uh, and then, uh, and then so on. Uh, if there's cat subcategories under that, um, and it looks like, oh, we got lucky. There's actually, uh, four subcategories down. So we can select just the level four categories or just the level three or, you know, or whatever we want. Um, or we can just do, so if we just want toys, we can just select toys and then get all the toys categories. Uh, and then, as you can see here, it just added 95 categories into the list. And then we can go and move on to um, either another category if we want, or we can go to a completely different store. So if we just wanted to build a list of toys um, from multiple stores, let's say uh, we got Kohl's, now we want to look at Walmart. Uh, so now we're over here at Walmart, and now we can uh, go to Toys again, and we can do the same thing. If we want to add all of these here, or as I said, multiple categories, or just certain subcategories, and so on, we can get all of that data uh, and put them into um, into this bulk file, all the way up to uh, until we hit 500 categories. So, uh, super simple. Now we have 200 categories that we can search, and if we want to save it, we can just run the search and forget about it, or we can hit save, uh, and then we can um, also edit in the screen. So, we have our list of all the categories that we had just selected. Uh, you can delete them here. You can select multiples and delete, uh, and we can name it. So, if we name it, then it'll be saved forever. Uh, so... We can just hit Coles Test 3 uh, and hit the check mark to save it. And now you can see it's saved. You can rename it, download the CSV file to upload later. Or uh, if you want to use it on a different account, you can download it in here and upload it in somewhere else. Um, or you can just uh, delete it completely if you'd like. Uh, so uh, once you've done that, all you have to do is select your, uh, your filters. And if you have one already saved, you can do that there. Um, and uh, the next time you come, you won't even have to select a website. You can just select from your pull down uh, and select your filters and start your search. Uh, and that is all there is to it. Super simple and easy. Uh, any comments or requests for any other features you'd like me to, uh, to review for tactical arbitrage, or anything else related to Amazon, leave me a comment, and of course smash that like button, and please subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, if you're not using Tactical Arbitrage yet, and you sat through this whole thing, uh, it's an awesome tool. Uh, I'll have a link to sign up in the description. If you use my affiliate link, please contact me either here or Facebook, or shoot me a message, Sean Mayo at seanmayo.com, and uh, we have a awesome set of bonuses uh, for anybody who uses our affiliate link. Um, thanks, and have a great day.